Come chat now to me if you're not progressive, boy. Bad mind that fool me, no keep man awake. All right, peace to end various artists with the All Stars Dance Hall, which is nothing to something. And of course, I did make mention that you have to look forward to the YBM Corner, which we just kick started over here at Iowa from Radio. I do have some guests with me in the studios, a special, special person on. Um, this edition of the Yeah Baby Music Corner. What comes to the program, Dr. Vu? Or should we say peace? Which one do you prefer <laughs> anyway? I think just uh Feast would do as well, even Dr. Vu. Okay, we are going to call you Dr. Vu. All right. Yes. Okay, so I have Dr. Vu in the studios. He's the music doctor because uh we have been wanting to know the person behind the YBM and today I have brought him to you. This is the producer and the founder and the CEO of YBM. Okay, so he is both a producer and an artist. So we're talking to him as both, not not as only Dr. Vu and not only as priest. Okay, so what we're going to start with Dr. Vu uh -huh. is the beginning of your career, both your music career and your producing career which one came first between the two uh i would say the uh, the music career the music career yeah. came first so how did you realize that you could also produce songs well back in the days when i was at school mm -hmm. i just had the feeling that say uh, i will uh, definitely have a studio one day oh, wow. yeah because i had a dream you know mm -hmm. yeah uh so as time went by, I decided to start buying equipment. Okay. Yeah, slow but sure. And then made the studio in my bedroom. Then from there, <laughs> that's how it all started. So when you made the studio in your bedroom, you used to sleep in the studio. Exactly. Oh, so that's a literal definition of no days off because your day off is in your studio. Definitely. So you kind <laughs> of have a day off. It's a whole day thing. Okay, so I want you to tell us a little bit about the label itself. When, which year did it start? How many people did you start with? Were they open to the idea of working? And, okay, so you've told us about you as a producer. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you tell us the people that are under you, uh, the people that have worked with you since the beginning, the people you've lost. Just tell us all about YBM, yeah? Mm, that's a long story. Okay, let me, let me try to cut let me cut it let me try to cut it short. Uh, -huh. uh first of all, like when when I started when I started I I I, I did the setup for the studio like I think that was like two zero nine. Mm -hmm. Then in twenty ten I had employed somebody to work while I was doing business. Okay. Then uh that person did like a Judas a bit on me, so I decided to just like get in the studio myself and I started learning. So I didn't have much of uh, people then, but mm -hmm. I had uh, one artist that was brought to me by TC Mastermind. That was Cool B. Mm -hmm. That's the first I worked with, and his <laughs> his first song that I did for him was uh, what was the title? What was the title? Uh, forgotten the title. But the track went straight on on Radio Phoenix chart. It oh, was wow. on number eight. Okay. And that was my first song that I produced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then after that, um, before, I mean, during that time, it was uh, Vusmo's Entertainment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, as, as time went by, there was a time when the studio was creeped and we were working on the song. Then he was failing to do the intro. Mm -hmm. So, that's how I decided to say, okay, fine, let me just go in. Let me, let me do the intro for you. Mm -hmm. Then that's how... With the vibe of the beat, I went like, yeah, baby, yeah. Oh. And then from then, that's how the whole thing started. Okay. You know, and I think that was, uh, I think that was like 2013, if not 2014. Mm -hmm. Then during that time, then uh, Tony G came to the studio one time, mm -hmm. one of the artists, and he was like, ah, okay, why don't you just maybe just change the studio name from Who Smalls to Yeah, baby. Okay. So I was like, okay, sounds cool. I think we'll name it that. Everybody always says, yeah, baby, yeah. So we we'll just name it, yeah, baby music. Mm -hmm. And besides that, it's the baby music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we've heard the likes of Tremaya, we've heard the likes mm -hmm. of CP, we've heard the likes of Kidoko K, yeah. the Flowers, mm -hmm. the, the King Bees, uh -huh. the JRs. 
and we really don't know if they just come to record their songs there or they are under the label please walk us through who is who and who is under your label who okay you like so um you know yeah baby music is it's really big it's huge and it's, it has a, a good list of artists like i can't mention all of them but these i would say yeah they're the front runners of okay. yeah baby music mm -hmm. yeah so they're all under yeah baby music mm. yeah okay wonderful wonderful mm -hmm. okay so that's us talking about you as a producer mm -hmm. and you told us that you first started with music as an artist and then you became a producer later yeah. so that makes us know for a fact that before you could produce your own songs you were having your songs produced elsewhere so now that you're your own producer mm -hmm. have you ever since the time that you started professionally producing songs have you ever gone out there and had your your song as pissed not going out as boot smalls but going out as pissed to have your song produced by somebody else um since the time of peace i would say no i always produce myself oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay okay yeah. okay that's wonderful mm -hmm. and um would you be open to the idea of somebody saying look i have got a nice beat and i want you to jump on it just yeah. don't say it's produced by most moms a sure thing i'm always open okay, mm. okay. as long as if, if the beat has a vibe and and it has strings and the feel that i want because that's one thing about every artist you know there's always that instrument that they work best with mm -hmm. so it's not every beat that they can just jump on mm -hmm. you know yeah so that's that's how it is so it's it's easy like that if if i find what i'm looking for in the beat that's giving me a vibe then i'll definitely do justice to it wonderful wonderful okay so we know you as pissed we know you as Vosmos. what do most of the people know you as do they know you mostly as a producer or as a musician i mean when you go um, out do more people know you as a producer or do more people know you as a musician i, th I think i would say for peace as an artist uh, uh this is like, like coming out now because before i didn't want people to know to say i see you know because usually i was always just backing up artists the studio I'd back up jd i would back up kai mm -hmm. you know so uh people started you know being curious about who's this same piece we always see. I'm, then they would question me via inbox facebook like okay what come so uh peace the with the and she like, ah, no it's not me. so who did you use to say it was how can you use your own identity i would say you'll see him soon that's what i would say oh my god and i was like okay the guy is from kitwe then he will come soon mm -hmm. so yeah if you want to work with him just uh be patient you'll come through but uh if you have a project you can leave it then definitely you'll do something on it as when it's free that's what i would tell him because i just i didn't want people to like really know to why say, why didn't you want uh, I, f I feel like you know some artists had issues of whereby say if I was to like come out a mm -hmm. producer and an artist, people usually say you know the producers always do justice more to their production when they're oh. doing their singing than the artist songs. Okay. So I never wanted that. I didn't want that to affect the business. Mm -hmm. So I decided I wanted. I just decided to say I'll be in the background. But you know the more I'm found on the mic and the more I'm seated, the more. Uh, ideas come and some of the ideas I'll just give them to other artists you know like okay. Uh, no okay you do this song you do this song I don't uh, I would do this song but I, I think you just do so this song. are you saying apart from being an artist and a producer you're a songwriter yeah but I don't write I just get in the booth and sing Oh wow, I <laughs> I can't wait for the day I will come over there at YBM and mm -hmm. I will not even tell you that I'm coming and mm -hmm. then I will tell you to go in the booth. Mm -hmm. But since we're, uh, this is my booth, this is my umugodi, mm -hmm. so as an artist, this is a tradition for all the artists, you have to do a freestyle. A freestyle? Yes. A singing? Yes, right now. Ah. <laughs> you cannot say no because you will not leave this place until you do a freestyle. Okay, let me mm -hmm. do a freestyle. Please do a freestyle. Mm. Woke up in the morning and caught up. Woke up my daughter and then we went to the studio. Oh my God. Yeah. Bumped into grade, now we live talking on radio. 
I didn't ask enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's just you telling us how your morning was because it's literal. It's that a you, song. You, Every, you know, how are you going? Okay, how are you going to title that song? That song. My daughter and I. Uh, no, I'll title it my morning. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. All right. So we're going to go back to the label for a little bit. Uh -huh. You've told us. No, I will ask you your first song as Pissed. Mm -hmm. and your most recent song as pissed what was the first song that i don't want you to tell me the song that a lot of people liked i want you to tell me the song that you first did even though people did not like it i've never like really come across people saying they don't like my music okay they, okay. they always they always open up when i don't even know them so tell me your first song I think the first song that we did was with Slim P. We did Mary Maguire. Oh, okay. But it's... <laughs> did Mary like eating guavas very much? <laughs> oh, Mary Maguire is a crazy song. Mm -hmm. it, can't, it can't be aired on radio, no. Uh, so, after that, then we did Zimbabwe. So, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe came up with the beat when I was in the studio. Then I decided to... Like call Slim because Slim is one creative artist. Mm -hmm. So me, when I'm doing my projects, you have to be creative. You you don't have to see it like, like the way everybody sees it. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to see beyond, which is you have to be very creative and you have to have a unique way of expressing and interpreting. So so that when the listener listens, will be questioning to say, okay, I think I feel intelligent mm -hmm. for just listening to your song because. I can feel something, but you're saying something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's that's how we we did uh, Zimbabwe, and Zimbabwe went viral. Zimbabwe went viral. Lusaka played it. The whole uh, Copper Bell did. Then after that, we also worked on some projects. Then after that, I went quiet for a while. Then uh, just recently, I think uh, yeah, a year has passed, if not two. Then I did. Uh, I want you. So your most recent song is I Want You. Yeah, I think that one, that's the one which even just made me, I, I just felt like coming out. Okay. You know, I was pissed because the response, not, not just the response, but just how I felt. You know, I felt guilty after releasing that song. I was like, okay, here I am in the studio and I'm doing such music and I'm keeping it just within me. And I just want to, I mean, something inside me says, do more, do more. Because mm -hmm. at times when I just want to lock myself up in the studio and just produce just whatsoever come to my mind. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. Okay, the label now, as we wind up, how has the label done this year? Because as compared to last year, I feel from my point of view, mm -hmm. YBM has done exceptionally well this year because we've had the likes of... Uh, uh, Prince Famous doing his Dark Rose EP. We've got the likes of JR doing his Bad Boy EP. Uh -huh. We've had uh, Kido Cocaine releasing music. We had the Brenda, which made a wonderful wave. Mm -hmm. We had No Idea. We had Champion Boy. And now, just tell us from your point of view, how do you feel the label has done this year in comparison with other years? And just tell us which year was your best year as a label? Uh, well, I would say, you know, all the years have been an experience for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I always I always find good in everything which is bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I always try to have fun mm -hmm. while it's you working. Because things don't come to you nicely if, you, if you're upset and all that. But I would give, uh, I would say, I would, I, would, I would say big ups to all the artists that I've worked with and these um, artists that you've mentioned as well, because, you know, um, it wasn't easy for them to be where they are and just them taking the homework seriously. Also, I would say, you know, job well done to all of them, because uh, when concepting and coming up with the song and everything, there's a lot that's put in mm -hmm. than what the listener would really hear and say okay they would think maybe ah well, psst, you just get in the studio and just do a b c d and then that's it you out mm -hmm. but you see for all the success that we've had so far this year so as last year you know i i, I would say my team is really working hard so for for them working hard we're here now 
wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. And last words, Mr. Vu, as well as Pist. Well, a lot of last, wor last words. Uh, I'd say, um, well, let's keep making good music and mm -hmm. taking, to, taking, taking it international. Because I can see Kido Koken is already international. Prince Famous is already having feedback from people from afar. Mm -hmm. And so as the other artists. So, yeah, let's, let's take it to the other level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. I'm glad you got to come through. And, of course, the YBM just makes wonderful music all you have to do if you want to be part of this particular segment or this corner you just go and have your song recorded by dr Vu smalls and of course we'll give you some airplay over here this has been pissed or mr Vu smalls and 55 minutes gone past the hour of seven i will take it back to the musical side of things and this time I will not play something coming through from Pist. I will play something coming through from Tremaya with I Miss You as we await our sports program. Keep listening to 90.1.